Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back to Craftopia. I've returned to the dungeons to pick up where we left off last time and get some good supplies so we can return to do some cool farming and so much more. It's good to see you all back for this, uh, again, crafting survival game where we're also building uh, bases on many different islands and I have myself some good weapons and such now. So we're going to get far into this uh, dungeon and see what we can bring back to our uh, overworld. Whoa, sir. Get wrecked, son. Oh, he got absolutely destroyed, just like you guys destroying that like button. So thank you very much for all your support and positivity down below in the comment section. You guys are awesome. Appreciate having you here. So thank you very much for uh, hanging out with me. Wow, we're level 7 now? This is crazy. Ooh, we're getting, getting beat up a little bit. There we go. Nice. Get wrecked, enemies. Whoa, there's so many enemies in here. Right, so in this game, we have to go to dungeons in order to get rare items. It's kind of like, you know, how certain things worked in uh, Stardew Valley. And there's many different uh, aspects to this game in terms of building and crafting, and it gets quite complex, and I really like it a lot, and it's really fun. And I am happy to be back with more, because you guys were super aggressive about wanting to see more, so thank you very much for all that positivity and encouragement, because Craftopia is quite fun. All right, let's see what else is around here. There's got to be more enemies or something. Now, I know there's a hidden wall around here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is or what it looks like. But everybody was telling me that there's hidden walls somewhere. I just don't know where exactly. So if I miss it, just be uh, a reminder of uh, where exactly the hidden final wall is. Let's see. Let's see if we can try to find it ourselves. Oh, this isn't doing any damage. Maybe it's somewhere near the beginning? What about here? Nope. Oh, you can actually kind of clip through the wall a little bit and see it. Well, that's kind of cheese. <laughs> well, I guess you can kind of cheat a little bit to see where the, the wall might be, but... All right, well, I don't see it around here. Let's just go to our back to our main area. Oh, great. A boss room. Oh, this is, this is fine. Okay. Well, let's go. Come here, boss. Oh, get wrecked, son. Oh boy. Sir? Oh wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh great, now I'm on fire. Come here, golem. Uh-oh. Oh, what? Hey, don't freeze on me. I did so much damage the computer froze. There we go. Gotta hit the orb. Try to hit that orb. Get over here, you little turd. Uh-oh. Hit me with that Tyson. Oh, wow. He has to stop to eat. Oh wow, we have skills. Let's see. Uh... Ooh. Oh, sorry. I was spending my skills, sir. I didn't realize I had so many. I must have got them from destroying all those enemies and leveling up. Get wrecked, nerd. I'm trying to go for the... Uh, oh, the cutlass is going to break. No, I need this. This is the weapon I need. Oh, it's caused so much damage. We'll have to go back to the uh, house to repair it. Whoa, what? Is he dead? Get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked! Come on, one more! Yes! Woo! <sighs> nice. Alright, maybe I haven't passed the secret thing yet, but alright. The combat in this is pretty cool. Ooh, we have a bow and arrow now? Nice. I totally forgot to equip my shield too, by the way, but I guess I... 
Yeah, I guess I really haven't needed it. I've just been totally destroying. All right, we'll figure out what we got when we go back. Oh, there was a good weapon, though, that we got. Let's see, where is that? Ah, the ancient veteran weapon. All right. It's not broken like the other one, so that'll be a good improvement. Woo! I want to go home and craft some stuff. Oh! We get bonuses and stuff here. All right. I don't know where the secret wall is, but it's not like we're not going to be coming back to the... Uh... Beautiful. It's not like we're going to not be coming back here or anything. Oh, wow. Look at all this weapons and life potions. Oh, this is great. Anything that's garbage we can sell for money when we get back. Unlike, for example, the wall. Now nah, we may as well use it. All right, let's get out of here. Seems to be treasure in the area, the game's telling us. But I don't know, it's hard to tell. And there's no map of the area. Even though I can press M, it doesn't let me. Mm. I don't see anything. Oh well, we'll come- Oh, that is suspicious. There we go, that's where it is, boys. Now everyone can be a big brain in chat and just, uh, say that it's at the end in the bottom. It's not like we really got anything good from there, though. Two feathers? That's kind of... That's that's kind of eh. All right. Well, there we go. We made it home, everybody. And it's the beginning of our third day. Awesome. All right, let's go to the... Uh, hello, Fox. Let's go back to the beach. I want to show you guys what the uh, little... Oh, hello. Wow, there's treasure chests all over this island. We'll keep continuing to discover them. Really, there hasn't been anything good in these treasure chests. Every once in a while, there'll be a good item, but then other than that, it's sticks and stones and break of bones and words that hurt and other things like that. Okay, let's grab some more herbs. Eventually, I'll be able to make potion out of that and once we get a mixing station, so it's it's okay for now, but we'll get some more later. It looks like I also need to... Uh, there we go. Get some more iron ore. And we'll get our weapons repaired once we get back to the house. All right, here we go. We have ourselves a nice little uh, farm field started here. And we can build more of those, but I think five to start with is good. And we'll, uh, oh, what is that? Yeah, there it is, the little floating island. We'll need to go there at some point. Uh, that is the, I think that's the uh, Anubis, Anubis? We'll have to go up there and get up to the top there to that flying island somehow. I've only noticed it because of the shadow before when I was building the farm. So let's go ahead and try to load up our water bucket. How do we do this now? Uh, looks like we have that equipped. And, oh, right click. There we go. Okay, so now we have a bucket of basic water. I thought that would be uh, salt water, but I guess not. Anyway, we've only got one thing planted so far, so let's go ahead and do that here. Uh, how do I replant the water? Oh, now it becomes something else and we got to re-equip. Okay. Because it becomes a bucket of water. So, right click. Ah, oh, there we go. So we just smash it down. Oh, you got to do that multiple times. Looks like we're a rookie farmer now, though. And we just finished our one of our tasks. Very nice. So we got to get up to Anubis. It looks like there's like three different goals to get up there. Uh, we have to give them something as well. It's kind of annoying how it takes the bucket out of your inventory. And uh, puts it back in here. Just, you know, separate it from like empty bucket or full bucket. I don't, did, did, did it use the bucket? Is it gone? That can't be a one-use item. There's no way. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and plant everything else. I notice we still have more skills, too. So let's just go ahead and keep planting our seeds. So let's see if we can, uh... He should be holding a little bag. There you go. Ugh. Sometimes these controls are a little tricky to remember. All right, and one more type of seed. Let's grab these rice patty seeds. And we'll plant these here. Good, all right, so now we got, like, rice, corn, potatoes. We got two skills. I want to get level 2 collector. I think getting more stuff from enemies is good. Uh, I've got higher vitality now, so that's great. Vitality is very important. And let's see. Dolphin swim. Increase your swimming speed. Uh, become invulnerable for a brief moment when you crouch. When you jump. Hmm, that actually become that. That's a good one. Let's go with that one. There we go. So that way, when I'm jumping for a big attack, nobody can knock me down. That's cool. Oh, the weed is already ready. Holy crap. That was fast. Now, how do I uh, harvest this? Oh, we have another skill point to spend, too. Uh, let's go for... Avoid an attack, you become invincible. Uh, I want to do collector again, actually. 
Every time we kill an enemy, we get better stuff. Sheep, could you get out of here, sir? Get out of my 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 field here, sir. I'm trying to build a farm here. Jeez, and that chicken is being super annoying. All right, so what weapons did we get when we were there? I've also been selling crappier weapons and other things that I got uh, at the uh, trader, which should have translated into quite a bit of gold. Yeah, we have almost 10,000 gold. Beautiful. 9,789 if you look at the left side of our hotbar at the bottom. Uh, if I press E to retrieve, does that pick up the whole farm field? I hope it doesn't. I think there might be a way to... What if I swing with the sword? Let's try that. Ah, uh, yep, okay. So you need to swing with an item. I could have just used my hand probably, but yeah, don't press E to retrieve. That's that's misleading. Okay. Oh, hello. Let's see what happens when we get these guys out of the way. It doesn't seem to be efficient. Oh. Yeah, they don't really do much damage, do they? And they just seem to bounce everywhere. Oh, there's some more straw. We'll need that for more farm fields. Let's finish this guy off. These guys just fly for a million miles when you hit them. Sorry, sheepy. Oh, and we got an egg from him. Or maybe that was from a chicken I accidentally hit. Okay. Well, we don't necessarily need to kill those guys. They're just kind of like annoying little... Um, they're annoying little creatures. Okay, let's eat some more clams. Luckily, we have a bit of food for now, so we should be able to stay vigilant for a while. All right, let's go back up top and repair some of our items and sell stuff that's junk. Let's see here. I'll come back to the marketplace in a minute. Let's repair some things. Now, I forgot exactly how to repair, but there are new stuff that we can uh, to make here. Empty buckets. Takes log and stone. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? We should probably stop at the uh, machine here and see what we need to do. The Altar of Civilization, which allows us to go forward and unlock new tech. All right, so one thing we need to start doing is growing uh, flour, uh, wheat flour. So we'll need to make wheat and then turn it into flour. We also need a detector, which I think we had before. Ah, uh, looks like we've unlocked new items as well. Selling price and such. Now, is this unlocked in the, yeah, the new era, we finally get some clothing and such. Now, right now we're in the agricultural age. Next is the frontier age, so you can see all the stuff that we can unlock. So we finally get armors and stuff that's worth it. And then, uh, apparently, bioethanol was discovered in the Frontier Age. Yes, bioethanol. Uh, then the Renaissance Age, where we get better weapons and a few other things. And then the Industrial Age. And then uh, Age of War, Age of Dragon, and Age of Gods, which aren't yet in the game. But soon, at least there's chocolate. Oh my goodness, can we get a wall of Pinto Blast from all of our members down below in that comment section? My goodness, if you haven't become a member, make sure you click or tap that join button to get access to a ton of those different emotes and such. And uh, you can use those in live streams or in the chat. Get a thing ne next to your name and uh, a big O shout out too to all you guys who are big O supporters. Ah, well, it looks like we actually have uh, wheat here. Looks like we gathered quite a bit of it. Now, how do I turn that into flour? I also had a detector before, and I don't know exactly where that went. I might need to build something uh, different to make wheat flour. Let's see, what might we need to make for that? Stone workbench, hatter, copper, or stone furnace. Oh, I don't, I don't know exactly where I would make uh, wheat. Is there a mill of some sort? Uh, there's a cooking pot. Maybe we need to use the stone campfire. Let's see. Oh, nope. It doesn't look like we can take any of those ingredients. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll need a cooking pot for that. Also, the detector requires a copper ingot. I don't know exactly what happened to that thing. I may have sold it or something. I didn't mean to do that if I did. We did have one, though. Uh, ancient veteran silver ore. Oh, nice. Straw. Yeah, we got quite a few weapons from before. It was good. Very good stuff. Let's see if we can buy anything. Uh, let's see, the market. Put items into the chest to sell. Yeah, into, into this little thing here. Okay, well, there's nothing I want to sell at the moment. So I'm going to try to build a different uh, workbench then. So I'm assuming the only thing really that would give us any sort of crafting is maybe the fillet machine. But that's for fish fillet, okay. Possible to perform cooking by combining ingredients depending on the food. Okay, so this allows us to... Um, combined ingredients. So I'm assuming we get charcoal if we just put wood in here? Yes, we do. Okay, let's cut down some more trees then. While we're at it, we'll have to get an axe going. Apparently we have a... 
little better axe here. Let's cut down some trees. There we go. I guess if we don't cut down the tree fully, we don't actually lose the tree. There we go. And we'll keep uh, turning some of this into charcoal. Oh, looks like we need to wait a while for it to go. Okay, so uh, charcoal then to make the campfire. And since I don't know anything w w what's going on, it's first time playing, so I guess we'll just kind of have to learn as we go on. Wow, he actually ate raw wheat. I was seeing if he would turn it into something else. My goodness, how do you do that, dude? That must be gross. <laughs> wow, this guy is crazy. This guy is crazy. All right, let's make some more charcoal. And we'll make that uh, little campfire. Also, uh, for those of you who know, what is that little beep beep noise? Is that detecting a dungeon nearby? Which is weird because we don't have a detector on us, so it's like, hmm. Well, there's the detector, actually. We do have it equipped. So, but it's just not showing in our inventory, which is a little weird because I don't think you can take it out. Oh, there you go. Right click. Ah, and that's what it is. Good. Now you guys can comment and tell me I was right. All right. Excellent. So now we can go ahead and put this in here to upgrade the uh, altar. So we just need to have that wheat and we can go on to the next age and start getting some actually decent stuff and start crafting some more advanced items. Plus, there's more places for us to go to. Not just this island in the game. There's many other islands. We'll need to get there through teleporters and such. So this is a very beautiful island. I like this a lot. Really giving me vibes of Breath of the Wild. A lot of games recently coming out with that style, which is nice because that was a very good game. Let's repair some of our uh, weapons and such. How do we do that? Let's remember how to do that. It's been a little bit since I played. All right, if we go to the weapon, ah, we can repair out here. So we can repair it. Wow, it's only three gold to repair that? Okay. I thought it was going to be much more expensive and complicated, so that was delightfully simple. Let's go ahead and equip one of these, too, so we can repair that. Actually, we just click here. And boom. We're good to go. Alright, so that's what you definitely need the money for. Is constant repair for fighting enemies. I guess that's a good way to use the gold. I like that. Rather than just buying items with it, it's kind of cool that you can use it to repair things. Alright, let's make a cooking pot. And see if we can combine something to make wheat. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we also have uh, roasted sweet potato. That must have been from our battles in the uh, dungeons. Okay, let's put down a cooking pot. And we'll put that next to the uh, fire here. Nice. Alright, cool. Now what can we make? There it is, boys. The wheat. We got it. Excellent. Let's make the maximum amount of wheat. Good. All right, so it's going to take a little bit since I ate some of the wheat and we don't have fully uh, all the stuff that we need. The only other option then would be to A, go to the dungeon, or B, just continue to farm. So we can definitely do that. I want to kind of go build a house down by the farm, like a little farmhouse. That might be fun. So we're waiting for that to go. Let's uh, grab a little bit of uh, wood here, and we can actually start building a house. Now, that's kind of more of a decorative thing, right? Like, we don't necessarily need to build a house. We can, we can build all the crafting stuff first. You know, like all the benches and the cooking stuff, but we don't have to build a house to use those things. And since we'll go to another island soon, it might be a good idea just to build like a starter newbie house here. And then eventually find an island we really like because we can travel back and forth between the islands to make our final house. So, you know, we could, we, we could invest a crazy amount of time building a house here, or we could build it somewhere else and uh, make a bunch of other... It's kind of like a No Man's Sky when you find a planet you like. But then everything else kind of becomes your outposts. You have your really big house, but then you have outposts and stuff elsewhere. It's kind of cool. Ah, good. We have four wheat now. Good. Excellent. So not only does it combine items, but it makes more advanced items. Doesn't really make sense, does it, to take wheat grain and dump it into a pot and that makes flour? It's not how it works in the real world, but... All right, let's go on our, uh, let's go on our mission to finally get ourselves some, uh, some flour. We're going to go out here and see if... Do we have any more seeds to plant? Let's see. Let's seed. Okay. So if we're going to get seeds, it might actually be only plausible uh, from grass, maybe? Let's see. So we get straw from that. Where else could we get stuff from? Oh, there's a chest over here. Do they randomly respawn, or do I just miss most things? It's probably me missing stuff. Ooh, leather. Oh, and water. For drinking? Or for what? Uh, can be obtained from a bucket of water or magic. 
Uh, water obtained from a well would be bucket water, which would need to be processed. I think there's a difference between water for drinking and water for plants. So I think that's drinking water. That's kind of weird. All right, we need to uh, make ourselves some more um, buckets of water, too. So I should probably put a crafting bench down here, too. Shouldn't I? So that way we can actually do something down here. What does that take? Uh, seven out of ten stone. So that way we can make some more buckets of water down here. All right, let's grab a bunch more. There we go. We can actually clear these stones out. Chicken, calm down. Jeez. Buck, 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 buck. Don't, don't shake your head no at me. I'll come over there. All right, let's see. Um, craft. All right, so there's obvious missions that we need to go on for a while. Ooh, look at that. Copper blacksmith can create short-range weapons. Stone furnace to create ingots. Okay, so we're going to make another one of these, and then we'll do the other crafting benches that are required. Sir? Wow, the amount of uh, time that you have during the uh, sundown is quick. It's like two seconds, and then it's sundown. All right, let's see. For this crafting bench, you got to hit the number again. And we'll put that there so we can craft more uh, buckets of water and such. And we could also put down a chest, too. I'm going to put that down here as well for all of our farming supplies. These seem to be relatively easy to make. I happen to find one of these in the farm. But it would be nice to make our own little uh, farm down here. And a little farmhouse. All right, let's eat the rest of our little uh, fried clams. Nice. Takes a while to eat, though. There's a cooldown on it. And we definitely need to get some more buckets of water, so that's probably going to require wood and stone, I believe, to make those. If I recall correctly. Let's see. Oh, what is this thing? Oh, a wooden hoverboard. Right, we don't really need that. Let's go ahead and... I don't know if I want to make that many. Let's make ten. All right, so now we should be able to use all these buckets of water on the farm fields that we've planted. All the different crops. Potato, rice, and wheat, I think, is what we had so far. All right, let's go ahead and take these buckets of water. Oh, yep, there we go. And we just hit five. I'm still running around naked. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a hot day or something like that. Why is everybody just standing on the docks like that? Isn't that kind of weird? Okay, we're right-clicking. There we go. All right, so it turns bucket of water into, uh, well, empty bucket into bucket of water. So we've got to do this like nine times. Well, we're almost there anyway. Now, as you see uh, in the lower left corner, multiplayer is under construction and could be very unstable. So this is a multiplayer game at the moment, but uh, could result in some problems. But the fact that it exists is pretty cool. And it's really nice to see some more uh, different style survival games where it still has the same elements of uh, crafting, farming, fighting, and doing other things like that. Is that guy trying to rob me? Sir, step away from the chest. All right, let's make sure we water everything. I don't even know if we put seeds down, but at this point, I just want to make sure we've got everything watered. Let's see. It's kind of hard to tell if you have crops there or not. Oh, it looks like once you harvest crops... Wait, this is all wheat? I thought I had rice or something in here at some point. Maybe it just indicates that there's a crop. Hold on just a second. To avert your eyes for a second. Okay, you can open them. Oh, where'd that chicken go? I don't know where he went. Uh, I have no idea. I think he said something about putting a KFC logo down below in the comments section from all of our members. Something like that. I, I, I don't know. Who knows with those, cra those, those crazy chickens. Those crazy chickens. All right, now we can do a fishing bowl, too, for up top. That's going to be cool. And we also have a... I wonder if we can use our arrow, our, our bow without arrows? That doesn't make sense, but maybe it does, sir. Okay, let's try to use the uh, arrow here. Maybe I don't need ammo. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, you don't, you don't have any equipped arrows. Some games are weird. This is definitely a weird, unusual game. So I wanted to just test to see if it would give us arrows and it was based on the bow or something. But it looks like there are different arrow types. Get wrecked, sir. Get wrecked. He went to an absolutely different universe. These shellfish are super easy. All you got to do is grab them and put them on the Barbie and that's it. Oh, nice. We're ready to go with wheat again. Okay, well, that's nice that it doesn't take that long. I guess I could use my hand, couldn't I? Just, pun just punch the wheat. Yeah, take that. Suplex the wheat. That's right. 
Yeah. Boom. Get it, baby. God, they're so annoying. All right, well, I'm going to build a house down here eventually, but I wanted to see more of the combat the way it was kind of meant to be played. And I don't know if I can make any armor at the moment. It looks like the next era is where you get armor. So it seems like in the beginning of the game, they just kind of want you to tutorial around a little bit. And then once you get to the dungeons, use swords that you find to defeat better enemies. And once you return for the first time, then start building like a house and uh, kind of experimenting with the building systems in the game. Which is pretty cool. It's different, but I don't not like it. I think it's really fun. Is that eggs? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. That looks so good. One thing that anime and uh, Japanese style do absolutely astonishing is making food look so good. Like, look at that roasted corn, dude. And look at that egg. Those look absolutely incredible. That's amazing. All right, let's make wheat flour. I'm going to just make max out of that. What else can we do with wheat? Okay, so what did we need now? I think it was, uh, let's see, we're at four out of, I think it was ten we needed in total. So, let's see. My big brain says that 10 minus 2 equals 8, and 8 plus 2 is 10. So we will need 8 more in total before we press the E key, chat. Con congratulations, we've done it. That's right. <laughs> applause, 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 applause. All right, let's go ahead and pop those in there. Is that everything we need for the next era? Hell yeah, Frontier Age, here we go. Did you see all that cool stuff? There were like explosive barrels and other things? That's awesome. All right, now we can craft some pants. Maybe. What are these? Oh, talents. Nice. For creating weapons. Cool. All right, let's see if we can make some pants finally. Let's see what we got here. Oh, what the hell? A motorcycle. Nice. All right, cool. And a hoverboard as well. There's that explosive barrel. Black gunpowder for that. And cog wheels, sprinklers. Oh, that'll be great. That's automatic for the uh, farm. And a generator. Ah, we can put an animal on the generator and generate some electricity. Oh, nice. And then we have an auto farmer. You can actually use that to cut down, uh, like, fields and stuff for you. That's cool. All right. Container, chest, steel, container. Yeah, okay. All right. We've unlocked a lot of good stuff. What about clothing now? Ah, oh, the loom. Perfect. And what will that be? Required iron. Okay. So I'll need to make a stone furnace then to craft ingots out of all the uh, iron and stuff that I have. Ah, and a potion brewing stand. Now, it said it needed a mix station to use those red herbs, but that might be good enough. All right, let's craft this. Now, I want to make a base. I really do. But I want to also find an island where it'll be cooler to build. So I think in our next episode, we'll move on to a new island and see if we can uh, actually build a, a decent base somewhere else. This is a good island. I like that. There's nice flat space up here. But I want to build somewhere else, too. And there's nothing stopping us from building a thousand bases if we wanted. So we can do what we want. And so right now, I want to be able to uh, make myself some crafted items out of iron. So let's place this thing. Which way will face us? This way? Let's make it over here. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. Very nice. Okay, so now we can make some uh, iron ingots and silver ingots. Let's make all the iron that we can. Let's make max. 40? Holy crap. Nice how we don't have to give it any sort of wood. It just kind of auto-crafts. That's nice. Now, what about those mushrooms? I did have a bunch of mushrooms on me. Oh, oh boy. That's nice. Oh, that's my favorite. Ramen, which has been popular in the world, you don't you don't say. It says, war in pork and salt. I, th I don't think that's right. Passion to the umisato truth. Truth from the fake? What the hell kind of translation? All right. Translation, ramen good, you eat. Holy crap. I ri oh, udon's good, too. Uh, I think we'll make um, seaweed for udon, so we'll have to go swimming. Uh, that's really easy to get animal flesh. That's really easy. And did that take any sort of... What else was it? Uh, salt, wheat flour. Okay, that's why we got all that wheat flour. Nice. I'm going to go get an animal uh, flesh real quick while that thing's working. Uh, so it might be a good idea to make multiple ingot stands. You know, like uh, processors or whatever you want to call them. Like little smelters. I'm sorry, cow. I have to do this. I guess we're having beef ramen tonight. There's no pork around, so... Chicken will be fine, too. Sir? 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 There we go. Oh, wow! It made me level 10. Oh, we got some cow's milk, too. Now, I'm kind of afraid about killing all the animals because, you know, they might go extinct. But, uh, you know, they're just too tasty to leave around. Okay, let's go back up there. Now, we can also build bridges and ladders and things here, but again, I'm purposely making our base temporary because I don't want to use all of our materials here 
and then have to recollect them in a new area. Look at all these foods. This is so good. Oh, there's so much good stuff. All right, let's make maximum ramen, which is going to be my band name. Looks like we can only make one because we have one bone. That's fine. I'm going to relax with my bowl of ramen. Oh, I love ramen so much. All right, let's do... Oh, there we go. Steamed egg custard requires some of the mushrooms we have. Let's make that now. We'll have tons of food, so we won't need to worry about that ever again. Oh, it looks like we have a new skill, too, but I'll use that later. And what else can we make on the campfire? Uh, let's see. Oh, we can steam the shellfish, but if we save it all, we can make more complicated meals. So now the cooking pot is unlocked. That's a good call. Uh, let's see. Oh, beautiful. Let's just make a little bit of everything. Sautéed mushrooms. Let's make a fat stack of those. Those are really nice. I wonder if we could take ingredients such as the sautéed mushrooms and then combine them with another thing. So, like, if we take sautéed mushrooms and then later we take, like, animal uh, flesh, can we then make, like, a, you know, like a steak with sautéed mushrooms or something like that? I, I like that. That's good. This has become the cooking show today. This is great. Not enough games put time into cooking, I think. Some of them, you know, it's, you know, Minecraft, for example, you put a potato in the oven, you get baked potato. That makes sense. That's cool. But this game, it's like, oh, if you take milk and you turn it into butter and then you combine butter with a potato and you add salt and pepper, then you have yourself a mega potato. And it's like, oh, dude, that's awesome. Hey, conveyor belts in the game. Now, hold on a second. Now we got ourselves some uh, satisfactory looking stuff. All right, we're definitely going to get into some more complicated uh, stuff here in this game as well. We got more to do. That we've only not even scratched the surface of this game. With conveyor belts and all sorts of other things, there is a lot to this uh, survival crafting game where we can make giant factories in order to do all sorts of different things. Looks like we can make steel out of that iron. Let's process that silver, too. And we'll get some of these basic ores ready to go. <laughs> I like how I'm running around with a bucket. It's fine. It's totally fine. What else do we have? Uh, failed cooking. Yes, we can make a failed cooking if we want to. Um... I guess that might be a result if you have low cooking levels or something. Oh, fried chicken. Hell yeah. Oh, man. Look at this game. Oh, there's the steak. Oh, my goodness. That is ridiculous. That is awesome. Let's make some steaks too, boys. Awesome. Best game ever, dude, for cooking. This is the best cooking game ever. And we have a supply of fish, too, so we can do fish and chips if we get a fishing pole. That is awesome. And so are you guys. Thanks for the, all the support. Next time you see me, we're going to build ourselves a house and finally start settling down on this world and head out somewhere else. So I'm going to have a ton of supplies and stuff ready to go, and we will play more of this fantastic game. Make sure you watch the first episode if you haven't in its entirety. You guys are amazing. Thanks, as always, for being here for more Craftopia, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.